Okay, Scott, you're in an office every day with Steve Garland. Tell me about that energy level, man. It's like I said, it's crazy. Not in like an insane person type way, but like it's it's intense. It's high intensity. T talk about you know what the, to like to be with that every day. Uh, I think the main thing, just just working with somebody with so much passion and so much energy, it's uh, it just gets you motivated to do more. I mean, there's some days everybody wakes up a day and they just don't feel like work and they don't feel like you know being productive that day but I guess coming into the office every single day uh, we just bounce ideas off each other we're always looking for ways to get better looking for ways to improve the program and having someone like that in the office on a continuous basis just always going after everything there's no holding back everything he does he just said a couple minutes ago he goes two feet in I mean it's just it's um it's something that I think uh the guys respect uh, the administration respects, and I definitely think it helps recruiting. And I guess for me, it helps me get motivated on an everyday basis. Uh, it's contagious. Obviously, you hang around with somebody with that much energy, and you got to pick yourself up and you got to keep moving. And I'm sort of the same way. I'm a little bit more laid back than he is, but I have get a lot of energy as well. So that that just works out real well. All right. When you guys are in the room, uh, do you think that you guys still? He says you compliment each other very well. Right, right. In the room, do you think you compliment each other as well as you do in the? Let's say it'll be a home recruiting visit, recruiting in general, or here in the office. Do you, do you guys are you complimenting each other there too? Yeah, I believe so, sure. I mean, I, I think that's one of the biggest things is co cohesiveness of the staff. I mean, you see a lot of these programs have five or six different coaches, but the question is do they work together well? Do they complement each other? Uh, are they doing things together, or are they just working in separate motion, separate directions, and then at the end trying to pull everything together? I mean, the guys on the team can see that. Uh, recruits can definitely see it, depending when they talk to you on the phone, when you go into a home visit, uh, when they come down here on official visits or unofficial visits. It's all the same, but they, they, want, they want to see a staff that's working together, that's supporting each other. And uh, I think that's one of the things why me and Steve have been out. This will be our fourth year working together. And I think it's just a great situation. Uh, we, we always bounce ideas off each other. We're always trying to push each other to the next level, whether he's doing something that's outside the box or I'm doing something outside the box. We always challenge each other to, uh, to push for, further. And, and that's just something we both have the same energy and ideas uh, as far as ways to improve a program and ways to get our team out there. Obviously, Virginia, Virginia wrestling is on the rise. We've been getting a ton of good recruits. Uh, the last three recruiting classes have been ranked real high. And I think that's just a... Uh, a compliment to our staff and the, the university is obviously great but you can't get much of a better person to work with than Steve Garland so all right uh, you guys you know like you've had third ranked class sixth ranked class third ranked class fourth ranked class maybe yeah. like three top ten classes okay? correct yeah people are waiting here in the state of Virginia and you kind of are getting there you get seven qualifiers all American this year okay Ultimately, what is the stepping stone from this year going to lead to next year for the Cavaliers? I think this year, and we talk about it every day, but I think this year is a real big stepping stone because all these programs, you get real good recruiting class, and they say, hey, we're the up-and-coming program. We're like the next big thing. Well, when wrestling is a little bit more difficult to, to just pop in the top five all of a sudden, I know a lot of these sports, uh, you know, all, all of a sudden you're in the top five. Wrestling is a little bit more diff difficult than that. And I think this year our goal is obviously to be a top ten team Maryland did it last year. I'm sure Coach Garland talked a little bit about that. but uh, And they were in the top ten. We lost to them you know, by one match at ACC's, and we were out two or three of our starters. So I really think this is a big year for us. We really need to, we really need to step up. We need to get two or three All-Americans. We need to have eight national qualifiers. Uh, we need to be in the top ten or top 12 at nationals for it to be a productive year. And, and um, obviously we believe that will happen, and uh, it's something we're excited about. So th this is probably the biggest year in the program in its history. We have six, seven guys coming off redshirt, so uh, we're real excited about it.